Hello and welcome. In this video I will show you some uh, of the basic commands in Linux. Uh, first command is pwd which prints the working directory and the second command which is cd to move between directories. ls uh, lists the contents of a directory and mqdir makes a directory or a file rm which removes or deletes a directory mv moves or rename a file and the last command which is cp to copy a file from location to another so let's log in let's go to uh, CentOS Linux and let's clear the window and the first command is pwd so if I will issue it pwd it will print the working directory that I'm in home up there and folder one. Uh, CD will move me two points will move me to the parent directory. Okay. So if I'll do PWT and print the working directory, I'm in home slash home slash Abdel, which is a directory for the user called Abdel. Okay, and if I want to go to um, if we'll go to list the contents of a directory using the ls command, I will see all the contents of this directory. So we have folder one right here. So I'm going to delete this folder and create another one. So I could show you how make the works or how to create a new uh, folder. So, and to remove a folder, we use uh, rm-rf because the folder has some contents. Okay, and then the folder is gone. So, there is no folder one uh, in, the, in this directory. Now, I'm going to create um, a new folder called folder one folder um, one okay and make another folder called um, folder two so um, let's do an ls which lists the uh, contents of the, the directory here we can find we have the folder one and folder two if we will go to cd to folder one folder one Okay, then we are in, and let's print, and okay, so we are in home update and folder one. Let's clear the screen, clear, there we go. Uh, in this folder, uh, I want to show you also how to uh, create a file. To create file, we use the touch command, touch followed by uh, the name of the file that you want to create. Let's give it name of file one. If you want to create multiple files simultaneously, what you need to do is touch um, file two, file three, file four, and so on. So if we want to do an ls command, we will see that the file two, file three, and file four has been created. Uh, the ls command ls will list all the contents of the directory that ls minus um, l will um, list all the contents with more detail. Those details are actually the permission permissions and this is the, um, the user who is a root and this is the group which uh, has the name of the root and the date and time and of course the size of uh, of the folder so and ls minus a will print also the hidden files that have the dot in front of them so uh, those are hidden files uh, the dot is the um, current working directory and the two dots is the current directory 
So, and if I will do the ls minus la, I will print the, it will print the, or list the contents of the directory, including um, the permissions and the hidden files. As you can see here, uh, we have those files, and those are hidden files. And Linux, by default, uh, hide some files um, for the to prevent the accidental accidental uh, deletion. So um, that's the all about the ls command. There are more options to ls command. If you want to go and check the man page for ls, you could do just like this: man and followed by the ls command list directory contents, and then we have more option right here. So. Let's quit. It's useful to check the man page for every command that we uh, that we learned in this video. So, and after that, I want to use the uh, I want to remove a file or a directory. And to remove a file or a directory, um, the rm will remove a file. Right? Rm. Let's do file one. And it will ask me if I want to remove the file, yes or no. So yes, we'll remove the file. If I answer no, then it will um, uh, it wouldn't remove this this file. So let's do rm and file two. And I say no, then it will uh, not remove the file. So file two is still exists right there. Rm dash i. Uh, I think in CentOS it asks by def it's asked by default because it's uh, good you know to, to check uh, to not accidentally delete a file or a folder so it asks and if I want the uh, the Linux to ask me about the latent file or not I will include the mines I in front of the file so file two and it will ask me yes or no so let's say no for instance. Uh, this is how to um, remove a file. Also, I want to show you that we can remove uh, multiple files by using the rm uh, and the asterisk or star. rm and I want to remove everything. So, here we go. It asks me to remove file 1. I will say no or yes. Yes. Okay. 3. Yes. 4. Yes. Okay. Here we go. There is nothing. Everything is removed. And we can also um, let's create a couple of files. File one, file two, file three, and file four, for example. And list all the contents of the directory. We have file one, file two, file three, and file uh, four. What we can do is let's touch another file. Um, File called first um, file. Okay, so um, I want to remove. Okay, rf dash rf. Okay, uh, dash r recursively deletes a file or a directory and removes everything uh, under it, like the sub directories. And the F forces the remove. So um, I want to remove a um, file that starts with a letter F and everything. It will check for all the files that start with F and go ahead and delete them. That's what the um, star do. Okay, so let's hit enter. And ls, we don't have no files anymore. Okay, and that's the R how the RM works. So let's go back to the current to the current directory. And okay, now I will show you how to remove a file. So in folder one, I believe we don't have um, no files unless folder one in folder one ls um, folder. Folder one, so we don't have nothing in folder one, right? Um, so let's uh, delete the rm 
dir rm dir rm dir will remove the folder, right? Folder one. So there is no folder one. Okay, and that's how to remove a folder one. But if the folder has some contents, um, let's go back to folder one and let's do cd to folder one or folder two. Okay, let's do an ls. We don't have nothing in folder two. So let's create a couple of files. Okay, file two and file three. Okay. Let's go back to the front directory. Okay, we need a space in between the two dots, right? To go to the front directory. So, um, an ls, and if I will do the rm the remove directory, it wouldn't remove it because it has some contents. Okay, directory is not empty. But what about if we want to remove? the whole directory, even if it's not empty, even if it has subdirectories. We can use the rm-rf that removes the folder and the subfolders under it and also forces the remove, right? So let's do folder um, 2 and the folder 2 has gone. Um, and that's for the how to remove a file. Now let's check how to uh, rename or remove a file. So first let's make a new um, new folder called folder 1 ls and we have folder 1 listed right here. And under the folder 1, let's navigate to folder 1. Okay, folder 1, and then let's uh, do an ls. There is nothing in folder 1, and let's detach a couple of um, file 1, file 2, and file 3. Okay, and let's make another directory under this uh, directory called um, test. Okay. If we go to list, we will see that we have um, file 1, file 2, file 3, and then the uh, test folder, right? So um, if I want to move the file 1 to um, to file one dots original, for example, I will do the mv file 1, okay, and then file 1 dots org. Okay. Do ls file one has gone from my hard disk, and we create another file, file one dot the original file, right? And uh, this is how to move or rename. Simply re renames the file, you know, in Linux, and that's how to rename files. There is a command called rename, but um, it's not um, used that much, so. Um, so move is better if you want to move uh, or rename a file, okay? Uh, but uh, mv, moving file, that's in the current directory, okay? If you want to move, if you want to move a file from um, uh, to another directory, you need to specify the full uh, path, right? Um, let's try to move um, this file. Okay, file one to dot org actually to um, home. Let's check, make sure uh, that we don't have any uh, file. And uh, okay, Abdel, and then we have folder called tests. Okay, so we have file dot org. So this is our and everything that's okay. Remove everything, a yes, and another yes, and a less. So we don't have nothing in the test directory. So now let's go back cd to home of the and then um, folder one. Okay, so let's move the file one.org to home of the and test directory. 
Okay. File.arg. I forgot to to move the file with mv command, right? So this will move the um, file.arg, file1.arg to the uh, home slash home slash up test slash test directory. If we will to um, list what's in the home update test, we will see that the, the file has been moved. If we'll go back to the original location, which is folder one, the file one.org has been gone. Okay, and sure enough, there is no file one.org. And that's how to um, move files from in the same directory or uh, in different directories. And the last command that I want to show you is the cp command, which copies a um, content of a file to another file. Okay, we have a file 2, so let's um, view the file 2 with the vi editor, file 2, okay, file 2, there is nothing in it, so let's write something in it. Um, if you haven't been using vi, uh, there are two modes, the command mode and the insert mode. To enter the insert mode, type i on the keyboard, and then it will give you the insert mode. Then you start typing. So this is the first um, line in this um, this file. Okay, and to go back to the command mode, simply press escape, and then if you want to write and quit, you uh, press um, uh, you type the colon. Okay, colon. And then a right, okay, with a W and quit with a Q. And then hit enter, then the file has been written. So uh, I want to copy the contents of the file 2 to um, file 3. Let's check first if we have something in file 3. VI file 3 is empty, okay. Control Z Z to exit, and then let's CP and file two to file three. Okay, overwrite. It asks me yes, and here we go. If we do vi file three, okay, it give me press enter. Okay, and then here we go. We have um, the we moved the contents of file two to file three. Okay, let's exit back, and that's how to move um, uh, file to another file, the contents of file to another file on the same directory. But if we want to move um, the contents to another file in another directory, um, let's go to um, cat. Um, and cat, by the way, it's another command which can concatenate um, uh, files and folders. We have file two and yeah, let's check. Let's learn a little bit about the cat um, uh, before uh, before we go back to the uh, move files from a directory to another. Cat, let's do cat file two, and then it says this is the first line in this file. So that's how to concatenate stuff in Linux. Let's do cat um, file file 2 and file 3. So it will give us the contents of file 1 and the contents of file 3. So let's cut, make sure that we don't have nothing in the uh, in the uh, okay, in the test directory or oh, the test is directory so um, probably file 1 Okay, file one. Okay, let's go there, right? So let's do cd, cd to um, home test, and in test we have just file one dot org. So if we we'll view the file one dot org, file one dot org, there is nothing in it, right? So it's empty. So let's. Um, 
go back to home, Abdel, and folder one, right? And let's say we want to move this file to to um to uh, this directory right here, which is called um test. So cp file two, okay, and then the full path to the directory that we want to uh, move the file to test. And here we go. Ls, okay. CP and if we we'll go to um, cat or uh, list the contents of um, home, Abdel and text, we can see that file two has been moved to um, test directory. Okay, so to wrap up things that we have learned in this video. We talked about uh, how to use the PWD to print the work in the X-ray and the CD to move between directories and the LS command to list the contents of a directory and we uh, saw like LS minus A which um, prints the hidden files uh, in a directory and LS minus L which prints uh, more details uh, about the contents of the directory. We uh, learned how to create a directory or a file using um, mqdir or touch to make file. And also we have um, learned how to remove a directory, how to remove a file. To remove a file, simply rm and uh, if you want to remove it recursively and force it to, to, to be removed, you simply um, minus rf. And we learned how to remove an empty file and how to remove an empty and, and uh, a, f a folder if it's not empty, which we use the rm-rf. And we learn how to remove um, some specific files that start with letter F or any kind of letter using the asterisk, right? And also we uh, learned about how to move or rename files. And finally, we learned how to copy files in the same directory or in um, different directories. So I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.